Hey everyone, it's Julia Mark here from RV Love and we are continuing to make upgrades and improvements to our motorhome CC. This one to the exterior, having finished our RV makeover last year, we're now loving CC up on the outside. And we recently made an exciting upgrade that not only looks better, it also performs better. And that's by putting a new slide topper and three new awnings over the windows and the main patio. So this is a really affordable upgrade to make to your RV. Uh, we had no idea just how bad shape our RV uh, awning and slide top of fabric we're in until we actually took a closer look and removed them ready to put the new ones on we're going to take you uh, through and show you what the fabric was like before it was pretty gross uh, also show you how these things are made we actually went to the manufacturer in uh, Washington at Tough Top Hornings to see how they make them what kind of fabric they use and we're going to show you uh, the difference and what they look like when they're done if this is an upgrade you've been thinking about making to your RV we've also got a coupon code to save you some money so with that let's jump right in and show you what we did why how bad it was and how good it looks now stay tuned Welcome back to our channel everyone, we're Mark and Julie Bennett of RV Love. We've been full-time RVing for five and a half years now in our Class A motorhome and still living and loving the RV life. We're actually the authors of the book Living the RV Life, Your Ultimate Guide to Life on the Road. And we completed a major RV renovation. So as many of you know, we bought a 1999 Country Coach Class A diesel pusher motorhome and did a complete interior makeover, which we absolutely love. Now we're focused on improving the exterior of our coach. Our coach has a single slide with a slide topper, two rear window awnings, plus a large side patio awning. So let's talk about why we decided to make this particular upgrade. First of all, appearance wise, <laughs> none of these awnings matched at all. The two rear ones, I think were, they've been on there a long time and they yeah. were a canvas material. It might've been gray in the beginning, but it's kind of a khaki brown from getting dust settled in it. And they were also starting to get a little bit of mold and mildew. And um, the slide topper has been replaced at least once, I'm guessing two or three times, and it was kind of a yellowy tan color, and it definitely had some black mold growing in it, and the stitching was starting to fall apart. And it was even the wrong size, which made it flap a lot in the wind, so it had a lot of problems going on with that. The fabric's longer than the rail, so the new one, we're gonna make the fabric the same length of the rail, so it doesn't have this sag, which is part of what's making it have this sag and look, look a little bit terrible. The main patio awning is huge. It's about 22 feet long, I think. A big one. Huge. And it was also, again, not matching, but it, it was, was ugly. only- It was, it was just all very ugly. And it was less than three years old because we saw the receipts in it when we bought the coach and it was already starting to show some signs of degradation on that as well. So this awning's brown with the gradient, doesn't match with the coach at all. And then this one back here is a canvas that's a tan color, all again not really matching. We want our awning and all of our new window covers and slide toppers, everything to match and with much higher quality. So not only did they not look good, mm -hmm. they were also starting to have some signs of wear and starting to fall apart actually. But that's not all. When it rained, the fabric material would get soaked as there was no water resistance. Instead of water running off the slide topper, water would pool on top of the slide. So on travel days... When I was bringing in the slide, if it was after it rained, there would be water on top of the slide. And so when I bring that slide in, if I didn't remember to squeegee the water off before bringing it in, that water would still be on top of the slide. So when I'm driving around, if I hit the brakes, <laughs> water would come right off the end of the slide and drop onto my shoulders while I'm trying to drive. It's a very unwelcome surprise, kind of like those uh, ice bucket challenges or something. Little did we know how bad they were until we took a much closer look at removing the old fabric and seeing what poor condition they were in. So all of these, the slide topper and the rear window awnings were covered in mildew. The black in here, this is mildew that's growing inside your fabric. That is black mold. And Gross. basically all the fabrics were fraying, tearing and rotting away. So these were all beyond overdue for replacement. So we decided to go with tough top awnings. Mm -hmm. We'd met the owner, Tyler Hammond, in Quartzsite a couple of years ago. That was back when we had our other coach with much newer fabric. Now with our older coach and our crappy awnings, we were ready to do this. So you might be wondering, is this a DIY job and can you do it yourself? And the answer is yes. Most people install the replacement fabric as a DIY project. 
But as we are already in the Pacific Northwest, where mm -hmm. Tough Top Awnings is located, it was the ideal chance to catch up with Tyler again and take you on a tour of their facility to show you how they make them. And also to work alongside Tyler installing them together on our RV. We are in this facility now for three years and we are a 15 year old uh, family owned and run business. We started in a small little shop. Our father who started the company was making awnings after hours as a repair technician and aftermarket fabric replacements. That's really all we're doing. Upgrade all your fabrics with material that is waterproof, UV resistant, mildew resistant, and marine grade stitching. All of our materials are made here in the USA. Precise cutting, so we do need precise measurements because we are gonna cut it to that specific size for you. And something that's gonna last you for 15 to 20 years, hopefully without leaving the coach. We offer the instructions, the videos, the material and everything turnkey so it's something you can do with support from us to get you over that hurdle of hey my fabric is falling apart I want something better I deserve something better here you go so installing these awnings and slide toppers is not a complicated job but you will need a couple sets of hands a couple of ladders and some basic tools if you don't have ladders you can often rent them from a hardware store or even borrow them from fellow RVers this is definitely going to be an easier job as a team sport. Plus, you will find some great installation videos on the Tough Top website for most types of awnings. You'll want to have a nice, open, paved area to lay out the fabric before mounting it onto your RV. The installation of all four awnings with me and Tyler working together took less than two hours. But if it's your first time installing, you should allow probably an hour or so per awning or topper. Tough Top Awnings offers a selection of the most popular colors being white, sand, gray, black, green, and blue. We chose the gray vinyl as we felt that was a nice complement to the white, black, and silver color scheme of the exterior of our coach. Seeing how much better our patio awning looks, we were really excited to move on to the slide topper. We knew that would look so much better with the same matching color and fabric around the coach, but our new awnings and topper perform so much better too. And because the quality of the fabric is so superior to what comes direct from the equipment manufacturers, we know they'll really hold up so much better. So now our new fabric is the perfect size for the existing hardware, which mm. reduces the likelihood of tearing, and it's also eliminated the flapping that mm. was so prevalent before. And it's completely waterproof, so I've stopped that problem with the pooling water on top of the slide. Normally when I would get this much water, I would have a very wet top of the slide. But as you can see here, it's totally dry. During the Tough Top fabric install, we gave the hardware a good clean and also adjusted all the tension on the awnings and the window toppers so they're actually working a lot better now, which actually make, encourages me to use them a lot more now. Actually, we found since replacing the fabric a few months ago that we've been putting out that patio awning a whole lot more and the window awnings now go out every time we park. So you remember, this is what it was like before and this is what it's like after. It's so much better. We knew it would be better, but this was far beyond our expectations. It's probably 60 to 65% of our customers order on our website. It's really automated, really fast, goes straight into production. A lot of customers prefer talking to me on the phone or talking to Christy, the CEO of the company. Whatever way you're most comfortable with, our production times, depending on the time of the year, you're looking anywhere from a week, three weeks at the absolute worst from quality products shipped all over the world. And customer service is what we're known for, and we're just going to continue to do that. If you're interested in upgrading your awnings, we have been able to secure a discount with Tough Top. Just mention RV Love to get 5% off your order. So you simply call Tough Top Awnings or visit their website, toughtopawnings.com, to place your order online. They can make your custom awning and slide top of fabric in about one to three weeks and can ship anywhere. So in addition to the regular RV Love coupon that's available all year round, there is a special coupon in the month of December 2019, that's RV Love DEC. That will give you 10% off instead of the normal 5% off, but that's a limited time offer.
So we hope you found this video helpful. We've been super excited mm -hmm. about how these look and perform since we've got it. It's mm -hmm. an affordable way to make a significant upgrade to your RV. If you have any questions at all, please pop them down in the comments below. We'll be happy to answer them for you. Also, we've got more information and photos of the before and after of our fabric install over at our website, rvlove.com. We'll put a link to that article down in the description. I guess that pretty much wraps it up. So until next time, we'll see, see you on, on the road. road. We've got more RV exterior upgrades coming up and we're really wanting to get some help upgrading the outside paint, whether it's a paint job or vinyl wrap or something. So if you guys have any suggestions, please pop those down in the comments below as well. We'd love to hear from you because we're definitely on a mission to keep giving CC some RV love on the outside.